Hey, Brock Day, how is Brock Day? How is it? Brock Day, how is Brock Day? How is it? Kyle Pilate, how about you? How is it? About you? How is it? Double honor to the elder of Potter, a great builder to rule well. Sincere Kai Tate to the Aki that puts to the truth. I call the four corners of the earth to the fear and power of your Hobbit Shah Shah. That the hope will let. Shalom to the or salutations to the Israelite form that gathered among all of the ancients throughout the four corners of the earth. That believe in the name of Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai. And Shalom to the sister and family that tune into this gospel that preached around the whole world. Peace and mercy unto you. And who the world innerly called God, his name is Yahweh. And who the world innerly called Jesus Christ, his name is Yahweh Shai. The Hebrew is the light that consists of you still called Negro, Latino, and Native Americans, and those who line the thin and go back to one of the twelve tribes of Israel due to the scattering among the, among the nation across the world. Now this title will be uh what have you done for me lately? Alright. And this is from all their pots of the uh a Ramla video this morning. Alright, you're either friend or foe, there's no in between. Alright. So the reason why I call this what have you done for me lately because it's about what are you continue in the present moment doing for your how about channel shy. All right. Not uh what you did last week, last month, last year, two years ago, five years ago, ten years ago. All right. As long as you you continue in the face abiding in the truth and doing what you're supposed to do doing this uh, uh this work this ministry all right you continue and uh you uh continually uh doing the work all right not if you have thought the truth or whatever happens and you're not doing the work no more you can't go off of what you've done before all right that's what i'm calling it. what have you done for me lately what have you done today for the Lord, how about you? shy. What have you done, like I said, uh, 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 even yesterday? All right? If you used to fall out today, and you did a video yesterday, it doesn't matter no more. All right? Those things will not be remembered. It's a different thing. We're going to get to those things. The first is Luke 9 and 52. Lucky. And how shall I stand up to him? No man having put his hand to the plow and looking back is fit for the kingdom of Yahweh. All right? And the plow is doing its work. All right? Once you put your hand on the, once you come into the truth and start this ministry and, 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 and making videos, doing lectures, teaching, and stuff, you're supposed to continue doing that. All right? Not uh, uh, taking your hand off of that. And, and um, going back into the world, because you're not fit for the kingdom in your house. All right? It's what are you continually to do. You have to continue to work. All right? Let me just take this in on to y'all. All This is, uh, it's not long. It is. The uh, first Colossians, like a Colossians one and twenty.
It started 21. If then you that were sometimes alienated an enemy in your mind by wicked work, all right, before you came to the truth, before you began to plow, yet now had he reconciled. Now you come back to the Heavenly Father through his son, the Holy Child, in the body of his flesh through death to present you holy and unblameable and unprovable in his sight. All right, because though we continue this work, um, and do what we're supposed to do, and then get delivered from the kingdom of heaven. Ultimately, we're gonna be uh, uh, blameless. All right, we're gonna be uh, blameless. Okay, why? Because of uh, the blood of Yahweh Shai. We're being reconciled to the heavenly Father Yahweh. It's the uh, and unblameable and unprovable in His sight. If ye continue. In the faith, grounded and settled, all right? It's about continue. And be not moved away from the hope of the gospel, right? You're falling out the truth, you lost hope. Be not moved away from that hope of the gospel, which is the good news. But you have heard and which was preached to every creature, which is under heaven, where of I, Paul, and made a minister, okay? Um, Uh, this is uh, for Timothy four and twelve. Let no man defy thy youth, but be thou an example to the believer of the believer in word and conversation and charity and spirit and faith and purity. Till I come, give attendance to reading, to exhortation, to doctrine. All right, so it's not just about uh, reading. Okay, now that um, commanded of us to do a video a day, you are not just watching videos of brother doing and of brother doing video based on doctrine. All right, that include you doing those things. Okay. You is Jordan brother, you uh, uh making doing lessons about the doctrine the correct way. Neglect not the gift that in thee, all right? You're not supposed to neglect the gift that in you, all right? We all have a uh, gift in different measurement, all right? So don't, don't neglect those things that are given to you, which was given thee by prophecy with the laying on the hand of the presbytery. Meditate upon these things, give thyself wholly to them, that thy property may appear to all. all right. So by you doing those things, the property of those things that you've been doing will, will uh, show forth itself by you doing lessons, by you doing these videos and stuff. Take heed unto thyself and to the doctrine. Continue in them. Continue in them. For in doing this, thou shalt both save thyself and them that hear thee. All right? So you're supposed to continue in these things. Why? Right? Because you're going to save thyself and you're going to uh, 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 those that are uh, hearing. All right? The fruit. This is the... First John 2 and 24, let that therefore abide in you which ye have heard from the beginning. If that which ye have heard from the beginning shall remain in you, ye also shall continue in the Son which Yahweh shall in the Father. All right, Yahweh. And this is the promise that he has promised us even eternal life. So if you do what you're supposed to do, you're going to receive eternal life. All right, because you endure. All right. You had endured to the end. In Second Timothy two and three, thou therefore endure hardness at the good soldier of your house shall mock you out. In Second Timothy two and ten, therefore I endure all things for the elect they, that they. Nah, I don't read that. 
I'm going to the yeah. This is Mark 13 and 13. The ye shall be. Uh, hated of all men for my name's sake, but he that endure, he that shall endure unto the end, the thing shall be saved. It's all about enduring unto the end, and then you'll be saved. All right, not taking a break or whatnot, and expecting to be saved. No, that it don't work. Like, it don't work that way. All right, that's not how it goes. It's back in First John two and um, twenty four. Luke 9.52. Alright, let the preach up off of this. It's the um Luke 17 and, and 31. In that day he which shall be upon the housetop, and his stuff is in the house, let him not come down to take it away. And he that is in the field. No, that's not it. The Hebrew 10 and 38. Hebrew 10 and 35, cast not away therefore your confidence, which has great recompense of reward, right? Because the confidence that we have in this uh, truth, all right? It, we're going to uh, reap the benefit of that, all right? And by doing what you're supposed to do in these lessons and stuff, you're showing your confidence, all right? It's uh, verse 36, where you have the of patience. That after you have done the will of your hollow, you might receive the promise. All right? It's about enduring to the end. It's about getting to the finish line. All right? It's about doing the will of the Heavenly Father, your hollow, by your own side. Okay? It's there for yet a little while, and he that shall come will come. It will not tarry. Who is that that coming? Not, not, that not going to tarry your house side. Now the judge shall live by faith, but if any man draw back, all right, taking his hand off the plow, stop doing the work, all right, my soul shall have no pleasure in him, all right? So how much shall try not to have no pleasure in you to save you because you haven't done nothing for him. But we are not of them who draw back into perdition with destruction, but of them that believe to the saving of the soul. All right. Let's just drift real quick. Uh,
keep there with me for a second. I can't find it. Mm -hmm. That computer two and twenty. It said, "For if after they have escaped the pollution of the world through the knowledge of the Lord and Savior Yahweh Hamashiach, all right, basically coming out of the world and coming into the truth. <laughs> okay, escaping the pollution of the world. They are again entangled therein and overcome. All right, and then now you go back into the world. The latter end is worse with him with them than the beginning." Where it has been better for them not to have known the ways of righteousness than after they have known it, the turn from the holy commandment delivered unto them. But it is happened unto them according to the true power, that dog it turned to his own vomit again, and the soul of that was watched through her wallowing in the mire. Alright, so you came to the truth, did the work, and went back in the world, you're going to be destroyed. You're going to be killed. Okay? That's all they do it. That's why we had you done for me lately. So it's about continuing the faith that you should save thy soul, as we read earlier. Uh, I had another scripture on mine. <sighs> I'm trying to start. Revelation 2 and 5. Remember therefore when, from when thou art fallen and repent and do the first works or else I will come unto thee quickly and remove thy candlestick out of his place and that thou repent. Okay. Oh, I shall read up. Yeah, that's pretty much straight to the point on that one. I think that's all I had in mind. Can't remember the other scripture I had in, in my thought. But hopefully, you know, this is edifying to the fear of power. How about sound shy? And it's about, oh, I had it. It's a stream one. And uh, 
22. That's day 21. Yeah, 21 and 21. Wherefore, lay apart all filthiness and stupidity of mightiness and receive with meekness, being humble, then grasp the word, which is able to save your souls. But ye. But be ye doer of the word and not hearer only, deceiving your own self. All right, it's about hearing the word and, and doing it. All right, for if any be a hearer of the word and not a doer, he is like unto a man beholding his natural face in a looking glass, for he beholdeth himself and goeth his way, and straightway forgot his what manner of man he was. But who though looketh into the perfect law of liberty and continue Continue it therein, he being not a forgetful hearer, hearer, but a doer of the work. This man shall be blessed in his deed. All right. So that's about doing what you're supposed to do and, and continue in that. And so with that, so.